I thought, well, I'll go ahead and jump on and do a quick little chit chat, kind of a day in the life vlog, but you know, kind of like just talking to you from the car as I run errands. Hey there, it's Vicki Marie. I am in uh, John's truck, so uh, it's a little different here. I haven't really filmed from the car lately. I'm trying not to film so much when I'm driving just to avoid some of that background noise. Uh, and I just haven't been out and about as much lately, uh, but I came over here, I, um, well, I came over, I dropped by the Dollar Tree because I wanted to see if they had any of those big bags they used to have um, that you can buy for $1.25. Um, because, you know, here in Colorado, we have to go with our own bags to the store now. And I forgot my bags. Lori, they're in the car. <laughs> if you know, guys, if you guys have been watching my vlog, you know that reference. But yeah, I usually have these bags in my car, um, but I'm in John's truck. Throws me off. So I did um, bring my one bag that I have in my purse that I, I do have one in my purse and I was able to put my Dollar Tree finds in there but they didn't have any bags so um, I'll show you guys really quick what I bought I bought it just a few things uh, just a very few but I came over to um, to the grocery store uh, and I really am not gonna buy that much but I just wanted to uh, top off just buy a few things like I just need apples bananas I wanted to get some celery and carrots uh, and um, you know that kind of thing because I made I made this really good chicken stew last night with uh, brown rice and quinoa and chicken and broccoli and a little bit of that um, better than chicken bouillon and oh uh, or no better than something like that better than better than bouillon chicken flavor yeah love that stuff and uh, but I told John this was it's really good but it would be even better with some onions and celery and carrots I don't know why I've been hungry for that so that's why I came over to the store and we could use some more bananas and apples and yeah basically that might get some ice cream and maybe even some chocolate topping because you know girls got to have a little treat now and then but I thought well I'll go ahead and jump on and do a quick little chit chat kind of a day in the life vlog but you know kind of like just talking to you from the car as I run errands I really just needed to get out of the house and clear my head a little bit. John's at home, it's it's a Sunday, and he's on the radios and sort of doing his downtime after a really hectic week. And I just needed to, to get out and run some errands. I, don't, I always feel like I like going and running my errands when I know John's home with Roscoe. I know that he's, he's a dog and he's an 11 year old dog and he's, you know, fully grown and he's used to being home by himself sometimes. I still feel guilty. He's like leaving my child. <laughs> so let me know how you're doing. Um, I am filming this over the weekend. Let me know what you guys are up to. I wanted to just quickly say to you that I did a vlog, my last vlog that came out and I talked about Staying strong in difficult times. I'm going to shut off my car. There. It's kind of hot. Um, staying strong in difficult times. And I want you to know that your... And I've been trying to get through and answering the comments. And I want you to know that I your comments meant so much to me. And I actually received several emails. And um, even a few text messages from people who have that number. I was kind of blown away. Um, it is hard to be really vulnerable, I think. Like, that's the hardest thing, to put yourself out there and be vulnerable. And after I posted the video, I was a little bit, like, I felt raw all week anyway. But I'm like, but I've never taken a video down. So, like, I was tempted to, and I thought maybe I'm just, maybe I shouldn't have posted that. But I did leave it up, and I'm glad I did, because I received more than one person uh, message that actually said they were really going through a difficult time and the video helped and if I can just help one person you know then it's worth it I, I you know um, but I wanted to give you guys an update I'm not going to go into detail because you guys can watch that video if you want but um, this the, the things are, are, are going really well and everything we're in a good place and um, so I'm, I'm doing really well. The family that this is involves is doing really well. And I just, but I wanted you guys to know how much it meant to me that you reached out. And, you know, we're all going through difficult times. And I just, I like to come on my vlog and use it as a platform of just sort of sharing my life as a 57-year-old woman trying to, you know, not that I get it perfect, but I just, I'm doing what I can do. Oh my goodness. Okay. Somebody's parking right next to me. I'm like, 
it's this huge parking lot. Why are you like right next? To, I think people park next to cars that they know are not going to be, uh, you know. Okay, this guy's kind of looking at me like, yeah, I'm sitting in my car talking to myself. I do this a lot. <laughs> he was, he was, he saw I was talking and he kind of was looking at me, but okay, <laughs> that was cute. I don't know. I'm like, I'm, I'm four, I'm four years into this vlogging thing, almost like four years. I'm like, okay, people already know around town. They might as well get used to me sitting in my car talking to myself. So, <laughs> all right. Anyway, um, uh, now I, I talked the other day on my vlog about how, um, you know, the things I was doing to, to stay strong. And one thing I did not mention, and I hesitate because I am not a nutritionist, but I am a firm believer in the research that I've done that it matters what you, what you eat. And you know, my diet is all over the place lately and I don't, uh, I eat, I try, I always say 80% of the time I do eat clean and healthy and 20% of the time, give me a beer and a pizza. Like the other day I signed up for Weight Watchers cause I'm like, I need some help getting back into healthy habits. I went on and downloaded the Weight Watchers app on my phone, paid my $23 for the month cause I think that that's what it was. And it's not, there's no commitment. Just, you know, you just pay as you go, 23 bucks. Okay, I can do this. And I, what, what is your goal? So I put to, to create healthy habits, not to lose weight, cause I don't need to do that, but I need to maintain my healthy habits. And you know, of course we were going through a rough week and, but I had every, I had good intentions. And then John came home from work and he says, what's for dinner? And I said, pizza, we're ordering a pizza. And I ordered the extravaganza pizza from Domino's and I ate five slices. But, you know, seven years into strength training and really committing to, to that, I mean, it did not even affect the scale. So this is what happens, you know, like there's a whole lot that goes into, um, now I can't do that every day. I can't probably even do that once a week. And I have, usually I eat two pieces of pizza on a, in a beer and like, that's it. But I ate five pieces of pizza. It was just kind of like, I don't know what happened, but, uh, but it was, it is what it is. So I don't do this perfectly, but I do know that it matters that we're getting, we are providing the, our neurons, you know, our, our brain health is important. Our brain, you know, our bodies are designed to protect our brains. Like really there's so much of that and so much of our, uh, of anxiety in, in our, that whole nervous system has to be supported with good nutrition. It makes such a difference. And I think that's a huge part of why I feel like I, I can cope. Like like that kind of thing. So, you know, I, I would be remiss if I did not say that I feel strongly that nutrition plays a part in it. And, but I'm never probably going to be one of those people that just eat a totally clean diet. I am going to enjoy food, but I'm going to mm, be, I'm going to say, just be mindful. I'm doing 2023 like a sloth, mindfully and intentionally, and maybe a little slower. And maybe I, I'm, I look like I'm behind the times a bit. I, I am a bit of a late adapter to trends and things. Uh, but you know, at 57, it's not as easy for me to, to adapt to change. So the, and you know, my gosh, look at the change we've all adapted to and change can be for good, but it doesn't matter. Change is still difficult. So we just have to be patient and we have to be mindful and intentional as we move through the changes and, you know, and, and be self-aware and really tapped in to, you know, like, to our own values and what we really think and you know and and be critical thinkers and thinkers you know think for ourselves we really i think that's so important so brain health is i think critical and so yeah and right now i am like I, i'm really um eating more like i like when i get carrots and i get potatoes and onions and things like that i am opting for the organic fresh grown um trying to get away from eating a lot of canned Although I still do, but I'm really trying to uh, focus on getting more fresh as much as I can and uh, just take care of, you know, take care of the nutritional needs that I, my body, you know, my, my changing body. <laughs> so when you get stressed, you do sort of, uh, during stressful times, you opt, you kind of revert back to old habits. Like that's one of the things we do. Now I'm not an expert, but I've been, you know, doing a lot of reading and my own research on this to help myself and the people that I love. And so with, when you are, you know, not getting the nu nutrition that you need and you are not, you know, feeding your nervous system and what, you know, what your brain, you revert back to some old habits 
And I notice that for me, like when I'm not clearly focused or I'm not, um, you know, you kind of have that brain fog. You guys know what I'm talking about, especially if you've gone through menopause like I have. Uh, nutrition play, plays a big part of that. And um, so if you know any good resources for that, let me know in the comments or even any good uh, people that are going through this YouTube journey, you know, they're sharing their journey and you feel like they would be a really good resource for me or for other people like me, um, share them in the comments, but please don't just randomly drop random links because I know YouTube will not like that. Uh, there's like something about that, but I'm always up for genuine, genuine um, help, you know, resources, good resources. It's like, we're sort of like a network here and I have lots of YouTube friends my age who are sharing various, you know, various specialties. It's like going to a networking event and it's like, oh, this person's a really good realtor and this person's a really good nutritionist and oh, there's a, there's a, a, a doctor there, a chiropractor or a DO or what have you. I mean, we all have different expertise and I'm, you know, I like to take those resources and share them. I don't know really what my, my expertise is because I'm not coaching anymore. I think I'm trying to figure it all out. But I am here to share my journey. So let me show you guys really quick what I bought at Dollar Tree. I did get a, a duster, one of these three piece of dusters. This is for somebody in my life that um, I, I know wanted this. So <laughs> I bought this for them. And I bought for me some of these uh, cleaning rags and they're just the microfiber. I love microfiber for cleaning. I bought a bottle brush. I like these just to, you know, when I'm washing my wine glasses or things like that. And I bought a pencil sharpener. And you guys know I've talked about pencils. I've really enjoyed writing with pencils lately. So I got some of these, uh, it's eight pencils, number two pencils, and they're in the animal print. So there's like a, a giraffe, a zebra, and a tiger. And there's two of each. And I got that, well, with all these pencils, I realized I don't have a pencil sharpener. So I bought a, a pencil sharpener and I hope it works. It's an electric. So I can actually sharpen my pencils. I've really enjoyed writing with pencils lately in my journal. So I've talked about that, but yeah, really enjoyed doing that lately. And let's see. Well, I think that's it. I'm Maybe I can give you guys a, I'll, I'll end, as I, as I end the vlog today, I'll show you guys a picture of my beef, my stew, my chicken stew, after I add the celery and the carrots I'm gonna go in and buy today. But that's all I'm buying at the grocery store. I'm not even gonna do a haul because whatever I buy has to fit into this bag because <laughs> I didn't bring any other bags. So I'm just buying a few things. Like I said, carrots, celery, and maybe some ice cream. So yeah, oh, bananas and apples. All right, so I know that's my list. I'm sticking to it. Let me know how you're doing. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for just your outpouring of love and support um, over the last few days. It has it was a difficult week, but um, uh, you know the sun's out again. Things are looking up, and you know I always like to say we're arm in arm on this journey together. Uh, I don't like to think of you as following me or me as following you. Um, we're, we're linked arm in arm, and we're sharing the journey, and that's what I'm all about. So. Thank you so much for, for watching today. If you haven't already, I hope that you will um, subscribe and click that notification bell. I will be back trying to do three to four videos a week. Uh, I am on my phone today. I go back from my, you can tell the difference too, I know. I do all my editing on my phone with KineMaster right now because my subscription is good till June. So I'm gonna use it and then decide if I wanna pay the new price. Uh, I always call it KineMaster and I hear other people calling it KineMaster. It's a great little editing thing and it's just so easy for me and I don't have to, Upload it all to my desktop and use Wondershare Filmora, which I have the lifetime for that too, the lifetime membership. That's a great, that's a great editing software, but the reason I like to use my, honestly, the honest to goodness truth, uh, if on my vlogging camera, I can upload, I have a little cord so I can transfer files over to my phone real quick, uh, or I use my phone like I am now. and. Then when I'm editing, it's on a small screen. When I have to edit my videos on a big screen, I cringe like, oh my gosh, I, I, I nitpick at everything wrong. Um, like, oh, I got an eyebrow out of thing or my lipstick's wrong or whatever that uh, I, it'll take me forever to edit. So this way I can just edit it and go and keep it as real as possible. So that's what I'm doing today. Thank you so much for watching. I, I appreciate you so much. And again, thank you for 
the beautiful messages of love and hope and, and encouragement. And I will be back here in a couple of days. Take care. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love?